In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate percentage decreases using a written method. Now, while there are several really good written methods, um, that's great. I'm going to use a written method whereby we convert or rename these percentages here as decimals. And once we have the decimal, we can go from there quite simply. So let's get on with it, and I'll show you what I mean. Let's look at number one. It says decrease $822 by 40%. So the first task, look at the 40% and see how we can turn that into a decimal. First step to turn it into a decimal is to turn it into a fraction. So as a fraction, uh, it will be 40 over. Now, 40% 40 means 40 out of 100. So here we go, 40 out of 100. And to turn this into a decimal, all I have to do is do what this actually says, which is 40 divided by, that's what the fraction bar means, 40 divided by 100. We can do that really simply without even having to really calculate anything. This 40, you can imagine it as a whole number, so the decimal point will be here. And when you divide, 40 divided by 100, remember, the decimal point simply shifts to the left. Now, how many place values it will need to jump is entirely dependent upon how many zeros there are in the denominator. And in this case, there are one, two zeros. So that means this decimal point will jump two place values to the left. So now I know that 40% as a decimal is 0.4. From there, I can rewrite this information as an equation. So it looks like this. 822, this by means to multiply, and 0.4. That's all you have to do. And that will give you the 40% of 822. So let's do that. I'll just reformat this a little bit and have this multiplied by 0.4 right here. So I'll ignore that for now. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 2 is 8, and 4 times 8 is 32. The decimal point's not in my answer yet, so I look to the question, how many decimal places are there in the question? Well, there's just one. So there needs to be just one in my answer. Decimal point will go there. So now this equals 40%. All I need to do now is subtract this 40% from 822. So 822 minus 328.8. So this is a minor uh, hassle here. So I've got a decimal point and an extra place value uh, in the amount that I'm subtracting from the original amount. So I need to just add a decimal point to the original amount and a zero. Okay. So zero minus eight, I can't do that. So I have to borrow. That turns into one. That turns into a 10. This becomes 2. I'm up, to the, I'm up to the decimal point, so put it in. 1 minus 8, we can't do that, so we have to borrow. This becomes an 11. 11 minus 8 is 3. 1 minus 2, we can't do it, so borrow yet again. 11 minus 2, we can do that, that's a 9. 7 minus 3 is 4. So we're nearly finished now. Just a little reminder, though, that the units of measurement happen to be dollars, right? So you can't have 0.2 you've got to have two decimal places for money. So this will be here, a zero. So the final answer for this question is it's money. So you use a dollar sign, 493.20. And that is the final answer. So we'll use the same approach for question number two. We're going to convert 35% into a fraction. So 35% is 35 out of 100. Okay, decimal point is here. We're going to divide 35 by 100. So that means the decimal point is going to go towards the left. And it will jump how many place values? One, two. One, two. Okay, so I now know that 35% is 0.35. So all I'm doing now is 2 multiplied by 0.35. So I'll rewrite that down here so I can solve it. So 0.35 multiplied by 2. Let's solve that. 
So 2 times 5 is 10. Uh, 2 times 3 is 6, plus that 1 we just carried is 7. Where does the decimal point go? Well, there's one, two decimal places in the question, which means we must have one, two decimal places in the answer. So the decimal point has to go here. So 0.7 equals 35%. So now I just have to take the 2 and subtract 0.7 from it. Again, uh, this 2 has no decimal point, so I'm going to put it in and put a 0 here to hold the tenths place, and now this is a problem we can solve. 0 minus 7 we can't do, so we have to borrow from the units column, and that becomes a 10. So 10 minus 7 is 3. We're up to the decimal point, so we might as well put it in. 1 minus nothing is 1. So now we know that the final answer is, if I decrease 2 meters by 35%, I have 1.3 meters. And that's the final answer for that one.